guys, it's Alana, and today I am going to be taking you with me to work. I work in a bookstore. I've been talking about it for ages on my YouTube channel. I mention it all the time. And I finally asked my boss if I could vlog a day in the life of a bookseller. So that's what we're gonna do today. Right now, I am making myself lunch because it is exactly almost two. I have to go into work at two. So here I am making pasta. What an interesting day. But in all honesty, today should be pretty fun. We are doing our Where's Waldo party because for the entire month of July, our bookstore puts on this town-wide Where's Waldo search. A bunch of independent bookstores do this, but today is August 1st, so that means that today we're having the party for everyone who did the Where's Waldo thing. Not everyone comes, but it's just fun for people and for parents to bring their kids to, so there's that, which is gonna be kind of insane, so I don't know how well I'll be able to vlog during that. And my friend Mel is working with me today. She brings in her dog Halo, which is really fun because we love to have dogs in the bookstore. We're very pet friendly at my store. I am currently listening to the audiobook of You're Never Weird on the Internet Almost by Felicia Day. I've read the book before, but I'm meeting Felicia in like less than two weeks, so I wanted to reread the book before I met her. I'm gonna finish making this lunch and eating it so that I can actually go to work. Welcome to a day in the life of Alana the bookseller. Soon after. I am at work now. My uh boss is upstairs. She's gonna be in this later. Danette, do you want to be in it? No. <laughs> Danette is new, so she's shy. That's Danette. She's really nice. <laughs> she's doing school order. She's very excited about that. This is the store. I'm doing a tour when it's not busy because we have a party later. You walk in, there's a bestseller table and we have some displays and this is our fiction section and we have poetry. This is our literature section. All the books that smart people read. This is my favorite room. It's the YA room and the kids room. It's just really cute. And we have our uh, staff pick stickers on books. We have just like a bunch of little beginning reader stuff. Children's literature. And then we have like cards and middle grade books. I like this one. I also enjoy these. We have journals and box cards and lots of fun stuff. And workbooks. Oh, and there's Waldo. That's where he's been hiding for the past couple weeks. Kids have been finding him. My friend Mel put him there because he kind of blends in with that book. So we thought it'd be hard, but also easy. This is our reading level section. Linda, I'm vlogging. That's Linda. She's awesome. <laughs> Where's Wenda? Where's Wenda? Oh, Wenda's over here. We're gonna put them on top of the On top of the cake. cake. Since they couldn't do it Look, there's Wenda. There she is, little filly. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's our spider. His name is Francis. I feel like people don't understand why he's there. He's been here for a year. Did you he know? Has, has it been a whole year? Yeah. What's the cake look like? I know. Oh, that's I cute. Know. And Mel's gonna bring in Halo. A Halo or the Halo? The Halo. Oh, good. I've not ever seen Halo. You've never met Halo? She's adorable. Oh, this is our children's room. Uh, somehow these chairs always make their way across the entire room and I don't understand it. And these always fall over, but it's so cute. I love it. And Linda made a tree with owls and all the kids wrote their names on little owls and stuck them up there. So cute. We were talking about painting it. We always have our staff meetings in here and it's fun because it's like we're all gathered around for story time, but we're having staff meetings. Oh my goodness, things always fall down. I'm always organizing. So when I first get to work, I always check to see if they're shelving and normally there is. So with that, we take these books and we shelve them. They all arrive downstairs and we take them and we put them in their sections. We check the sections in the computer to see where the books go and they see the sections up there a little behind the scenes of book selling my store is a completely new bookstore so we don't have used books which means that all the books we get in are completely brand new from distributors and publishers so we always have to put them in the correct places and make sure they're not damaged or anything. We also call the people that order in books. So if we don't have a book, we will always order it for you if you'd like. One minute, 37 seconds later. Oh, hello. <laughs> hello. She's so cute. You're our good bookstore dog. I've been instructed to vlog our cake. There's our Where's Waldo themed cake and uh, some vegan cupcakes apparently. Why do we, we have Madeline napkins? We don't have red napkins? I thought we did. Hey look, Kate found napkins. <laughs> That's Kate. She's my boss, but she's also awesome. I was like, 
oh Kate can I vlog work and she was like yeah <laughs> literally nothing yes. no questioning just like okay <laughs> one hour later Linda what did you do uh nothing I'm just cleaning up after the party is there you, a problem it's uh there's just a little something Throwing. Just, did I get it um just no it? Oh, oh my god it's so it? much work did I get it? Did you know that you had a pour yes, on you? I did. Okay. <laughs> Look what you, you made more of a mess than the kids. I did. Halo, go eat the oh frosting. Go get it. It's not chocolate, right? Right there, no. Uh -uh. Go, go get it. Good girl. Who's them? YouTube people. Oh. It's an infamous them. If I ever refer to them as them, it's most likely my YouTube subscribers. She says no. Squeaky chicken. She's like, what am I supposed to do with that? You have frosting on your face again. <laughs> your official review of Country Time Lemonade. No. You don't have to keep drinking it. Well, I feel like it'll get better, right? Like, you know, like a sucker tastes better once you keep it, you know. Did it? No, <laughs> not at all. No bueno. <laughs> Halo says, I'll try. Get your chicken. Okay. <laughs> I was taking them on a tour earlier. I forget where I left off. Okay, so downstairs. Yes, I was doing this. Biographies and history, which we just reorganized. It is so nice now. It is so beautiful. This is a back to school display since it's August and people are going back to school soon. And we've got our nonfiction books and our political books. Oh, such a riveting section down here. Our cookbooks. This is nice. There's so many of them though that we probably need to do a poll in here soon. Some more bookstore inside things. When there's too many books in a section and some books haven't been sold in a very long time or haven't sold at all, we pull them and send them back to the publishers in exchange for money so that we can then buy new books. That's kind of how we keep replenishing our stock and making sure not too many things stay if they're not selling. We call them pulls and we do them in different sections to keep everything organized and nice because if books aren't selling, then why keep them on the shelves when you could be getting books that will sell? Oh, this is our wrap room. This is a fun room. We do free gift wrapping and these are a couple of our options. And another thing that we do is we cut out comics that have to do with books and we tape them on the wall. Sometimes customers will bring them in too. And then we also have some articles sometimes about the store. It's just a really cool room and I like being able to read comics when I'm wrapping sometimes. But also these things make it so easy to wrap and then when I am actually having to wrap things at my house and I don't have these things to tear off the paper with I get sad because it's not as organized. Halo do you want to help me show them upstairs? Come on! Come on Halo! Come on Halo! <laughs> Girl come on! Halo come on! <laughs> Let's go! Uh, okay, this is our staircase. If you saw my Chicago video, you probably saw me walking up here. It's really cool. It's got posters and stuff from a bunch of different authors. That's the bathroom. You don't want to see that. This is the staff only room. This is the arc room where we have arcs of books coming out and stuff. This is the main upstairs. We have a bunch of sports books right here. We started Halloween displays because it's never too early for Halloween. And this front room is fun too. So we've got like philosophy, religion, sports, and business, personal growth, and self-help books over here. Audio books are over here. There's a Hamilton. Hello. We have like fashion, and then we have a bunch of books about like the ACT, the SAT, college, stuff like that. We've got nature, cat books. I enjoy cats. We have travel books, and we have art and music books. And there's a lot of non-fiction up here. Halo, do you like it up here too? It's cool because I've been shopping at this bookstore since I was like six years old. So I kind of have seen the sections move around and stuff as I've shopped here. And I really grew up going to this bookstore. So actually working here is cool for me. Halo, come on, let's go show them the basement. We have three levels, we're super cool. And we've got some fun Christmas lights up here to give it more of a warm feeling, I guess. Come on, Halo. Want to show them downstairs now, too? Let's go. Good girl. Okay. 
This is downstairs. That's where we receive things. Come here, Halo, come over here. Show them over here. We've got planners and calendars and there's a Game of Thrones display. Like a ton of calendars though. We just got a bunch in cause 2018 is happening soon. This is my personal favorite, Hot Dudes Reading. We have coloring books down here and we have mystery. This is our big mystery section. And then like mass market mysteries are over here. We have graphic novels, adult graphic novels and kind of superhero stuff which I enjoy. We have fantasy which is my friend Cole's personal favorite section. So that's pretty cool. It used to be a lot smaller but we have grown quite a bit with our fantasy books which is nice. And then we have a little shelf of science fiction over here and some Star Wars and Doctor Who stuff. This is our clearance section with books that are marked down. And then back here, you do not even wanna see. That is where the books go that we need to return to publishers and stuff after we do the polls. So we just kind of leave them back there until we can send them back out and it turns into like a mountain of books. Yeah, but that's our bookstore. This is where I work. I spend a lot of time here. Epilogue. I hope you guys enjoyed this little, I guess it was more of a tour than a vlog cause I actually had to do work. So I hope you enjoyed this video about work tour thing. We're closing for the day. Halo saw another dog and then flipped out. Okay, here we go. Bye, bookstore. All right, guys. Well, I'm finally home and I'm gonna go eat dinner now because I'm starving. I hope you enjoyed this bookstore vlog. It was probably kind of all over the place because like I said, I did have to work. Thank you guys so much for watching though. I'm glad that I finally got to show you guys around where I work since I talk about it so much. And yeah, that is all for me today. I will see you next time with another video. Bye. Bye.